Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So we're going to do a recap for what went down on this past week's episode of Sister Wives. It is season 16, episode 8, and the title is called Two Clicks. And uh, it's called that because this episode, along with uh, the last few weeks episode, Janelle and Christine, they've kind of linked up together, and Mary and Robin, they've kind of linked up together. So this one, it kind of plays out even more. So let's go ahead and let's jump in to what took place on this past week's episode of Sister Wives. All right, you guys. So this week's episode, it starts off with Mary um, in a confessional, and she's talking about when they had the first meeting where Cody uh, you know, had the list of rules and how she made that joke to Robin saying the list of rules that you made up. She says in a confessional that while she was joking and her and Robin, they did talk about it a little bit. They decided they wanted to meet up and talk again, kind of more in depth about that joke. It kind of, you know, what she meant about it. She wants to make amends with Robin because she doesn't want Robin to think that she really meant that in the way that it may have came off. So they meet up. Um, it looks like they met up out at, at, at their they're laying Coyote Pass. Um, they sit down and they start talking and Mary explains to her that it was merely a joke that she never meant for Robin to really take her serious or that she really felt like Robin was making the rules up. Robin does tell her that it took her a second. That because she had been getting so much heat that when Mary made the joke, first she took it seriously and it bothered her. Um, but after she had a moment to like process it, that she realized that it was Mary's way of kind of um, having her back, uh, so to speak, because Mary, what Mary said was, oh, the rules that you made up. And Mary was not saying that so much to that she believed that, but it was almost as if she was picking on the people that do believe that. And that's what Robin took away from that afterwards. She was like, you know, I know it was Mary's way of kind of having my back because she was basically saying, you know, because there's some people that actually believe that you made the rules up. That's crazy. Um, she said, you know, Mary's always kind of had her back and she wished she wouldn't have thought for that, you know, moment that Mary was um, saying anything negative to her. And she explains to Mary, she said, you know, one of the kids called me basically saying, can you lighten up on the rules? Um, so she really been having a difficult time with it because she knew that everyone was like blaming her for the rules. So when Mary made the comment, she just kind of took it to heart. But after a moment, she realized what Mary was saying. Mary in a confessional said that she has always had Robin's back, that she has always been there for Robin. And that if Robin really thought that she meant it in a negative way, then Robin doesn't know her well because she would never say anything like that intentionally to try to hurt Robin's feelings. But they kind of got all of that squared away. And then they decided to talk about them being able to actually hang out and Mary being able to see the kids. And Mary says that she wished that that would have happened sooner, that they could have decided this much sooner because Mary has been abiding by the rules. Like all these extra rules, like Mary's already been like super, super careful, not really doing too much, not really going around a lot of people. So everything that she would needed to have completed, uh, you know, needed to have done to be able to see Robin and her kids. She was already doing it. And Mary had brought this up to Robin and Cody, uh, you know, in the past and had never gotten the go ahead for her to be able to come over. And that frustrated Mary. So Mary said, you know, that she's just thankful and happy that now that she can finally see the kids. And Robin was like, yes, me too. I'm so glad that we finally all discussed it and that it was spoke about in front of the other wives and that Cody might finally made this decision. Mary kind of called Robin out a little bit in this episode because what, what the whole picture is, is that... Um, you know, Mary has been abiding by the rules. She has asked. She has made Robin and Cody aware. I'm abiding by all these rules. I should be able to come to Robin's house and see the kids. And they, they just kept telling her, no, you can't, you can't, you can't, not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet. And she's been frustrated over it, not understanding why can't she. So at the end of the first meeting, Cody uh, brought up how Robin was abiding by the rules. And he said, well, Robin, you and Mary can now schedule a play date since Mary is abiding by the rules. And Mary was like, why hasn't this happened sooner? I've been telling you guys that. And Robin, she was like, well, Cody was like, yeah, just go ahead and y'all hang out. Schedule a play date, schedule a play date. But I was scared to do it because I felt like he needed to tell the other sister wives before we hung out. Because if we hung out and they found out and, you know, they didn't know ahead of time, 
they would feel like maybe we were going behind their backs and not keeping them in the loop with what, what was going on. You know, they would question, why is Mary hanging out over there if we can't? So we need to let them know that you're following the rules. And what Cody let them know at that first meeting where he passed out the rules, when, when Mary said, I've been following the rules, and Cody's like, that's right, you have. Well, then I was like, okay, all the other wives know now, so yeah, you guys can hang out. Um, so Robin was like, well, that's all I've been waiting for. I've been waiting for him to talk to the other women and he wouldn't do that. He just kept saying, no, it's fine. Go ahead. Go ahead. I don't need to talk to them. Go ahead. Go ahead. And Robin was like, I'm not doing that until you talk to the other wives and tell them that Mary's going to come over. I'm not like, I'm not going to have her come over because I don't want them to be upset. So Mary, she is like, she says, I'm sorry, Robin, but that's a bunch of BS. If I'm following the rules, I should have been able to see y'all. Like, it doesn't matter if he had told the other women yet. I should have been able to see y'all. And if they said anything, well, then we could address it then. No, I've been following the rules. So she's like, I feel like that's a bunch of crap. As long as I'm following the rules, we don't have to answer to anybody else. And Robin kind of gets frustrated. And she's like, no, you just, you know, you got to understand that if we would have started seeing each other and they didn't know that you were following the rules, it would have been problems. And I just didn't want any problems. So I was just trying to get Cody to talk to them before we went ahead with a visit. I get her point, but I also am like, if Mary's following the rules, tell them when they ask. Then you can say, well, she's following the rules. You guys aren't. She is. That's what it is. Or Cody could have just called Janelle and Christine up and said, hey, listen, Mary's following the rules. We're going to let Mary come over and visit Robin and the kids. Mary even said, Mary's like, listen, I feel like the people that follow the rules are getting punished and the people that aren't following the rules are getting rewarded because Janelle and Christine would actually go see each other. They would hang out. Their kids would hang out. They would go hang out with each other. They would go places together, go to each other's houses. But Cody wasn't aware of that. Cody didn't know that. But Mary knew it. So Mary was like, they're hanging out over there and keeping it a secret. So I could have been hanging out with Robin this whole time and her kids. And if something would have been said, we could have just told the truth that I'm going by the rules. So it's not a big deal. At this meeting, Mary and Robin both agree that the situation is stupid and they are tired of COVID. And they agree, you know, that Mary is going to come over and get to see the kids. Janelle and Christine shows them in a confessional and they both say that they do feel that it's fair for Mary and Robin to be able to hang out. Um, Robin opens up to Mary saying that she's had like a little devil on her shoulder that has her wondering how her other sister wives feel about her with everybody kind of blaming her for the rules and everything and how Cody's been there all the, you know, all the time through the pandemic pretty much. She has like this little devil on her shoulder, like telling her like the other sister wives are mad at you. Um, it goes to a confessional of each one of the other wives as well, Christine, Janelle, and Mary. And they all basically say the same thing that even during um, plural marriage, you do have like the angel on one shoulder and then the devil on the other one. The devil is like telling you, you should be jealous. The devil is telling you that he's spending more time with this wife than he is with you. Um, and it's something that you really have to try to overcome. So Robin opens up to Mary about that though, saying like, I've had this devil on my shoulder. Who's kind of had me wondering how the other sister wives, uh, feel about me. If they like me, if they blame me, um, Robin also tells Mary that she didn't sign up for monogamy, that she signed up to be in a plural marriage. And from day one, from the moment that she, um, came into the family, she has felt like she has been questioned by everyone. That if something's going wrong, then it's Robin's fault. If, if Cody's changing the rules, Robin's behind it. She tells Mary that she worries about the other kids not seeing their dad and that she worries about the other women not getting to see Cody and if they're going to blame her for it somehow. In a confessional, she opens up and she says that she had called her mom and she had told her mom about everything going on and that her mom told her that she is the Brown family scapegoat and that she always has been. She tells Mary, she said, you know, I feel like I'm the Brown family scapegoat, that everything just gets blamed on me. And even my mom says that. At that point, Mary says, well, at least you're a part of the Brown family because I don't even feel like I'm a part of the Brown family. Mary opens up to say that it's been hard for her, um, that she's had a tough time staying at her house, being away from everyone just so she could see at least Robin and the kids and then not even getting to do that for a while. Robin tells Mary that Cody does say things like, well, I should go see Mary. I should call Mary. Um, I need to check in with Mary. 
And Mary responds to Robin by saying, well, I wish he would actually do those things rather than just saying those things. And Robin says, well, you know, I've heard him call you before. I've heard him be on the phone with you or he's told me I'm going to go call Mary. So I know that he calls you sometimes. And Mary's like, well, yeah. Um, but you know, the last conversation that we really had about us, he told me that we were just friends and it would be nothing more. And Robin acts shocked. She's like, really? He did? That's what he told you? And I'm like, girl, Robin, you already know this. You already know, like, Cody's already told you his feelings, and that's where it's at for him. You're like his head wife, so I'm sure he's told Robin that it's just going to be a friendship with Mary. But she acts like she's kind of shocked. She's like, really? And she's like, well, it's a start. It's somewhere. And in a confessional, Robin says that she understands that Mary is mourning, you know, like the marriage that she had with Cody and the relationship that she had with Cody and she validates it and she understands that you know Mary is sad over that but maybe they could have something else like something something also special maybe not as special as you know a marriage a full functioning marriage like maybe they used to have but that they, but that they could have some sort of relationship that was good for both of them and Mary tells her you know that she hopes one day that they can have more of a relationship and not be just friends. And until the end, she's going to keep trying and she's going to stay there being an active member of the family. In a confessional, Mary says, I'm just going to keep telling myself that I'm his wife. And, you know, maybe one day things will be different. And like I said in my last video, Mary seems almost like desperate at this point to have um, more of a relationship with Cody, but I don't necessarily think that it's Cody. I think she's just like extremely lonely and she just wants love and affection from someone. And because Cody is the man that she's spiritually married to, and that's the man that she would need to have that type of relationship with. But I don't necessarily know if I really believe that Mary is in love with Cody. Because if I feel like if she was in love with Cody, how, how would she be able to sit back and see him with these other women and not with her and it not affect her more. I mean, I don't know. Maybe, maybe at night she goes home and she cries. I don't know. But I feel like it would be just devastating if you're in love with this man and you see him with his other wives and he's staying with one, one wife all the time and they're great. And he's telling you that you're going to be nothing more than a friend for him. I feel like that would be devastating, but I don't know. So at the end of the conversation, Mary and Robbins, they talk about how they both feel like they're the only two fighting for the family. That Janelle and um, Christine, that they're not. They're not really fighting for the family, but Mary and um, Robin, that they are. So then we see Janelle visiting with Christine. She goes over to Christine's house. This is like a day or two after the meeting where Christine told, or uh, where Janelle told Cody to F off. So it's like the next day, maybe, um, she goes over to Christine's house and Christine asks her like about the meeting, like, so that meeting and Janelle's like, yeah, you know, I was really overwhelmed, um, from everything that Cody was saying. And I really just didn't want to say anything that I was going to regret. So I just left. And I'm like, oh, so she's good with the F you. Because she literally says, she's like, I didn't want to say anything, um, anything bad or anything that I would regret or, or say too much, you know, because I was so irritated and I was so bothered by the situation. So I just left. I'm like, girl, but you said F you. You don't regret that? And she, maybe she don't. As these two girls were sitting there talking about Cody, they were basically talking about how um, everything that he said was offensive and that they didn't want to be treated that way. They didn't appreciate the way that Cody was treating them. At one point, Christine said that Cody was uh, judgmental and an a-hole. Uh, they laughed about how uh, Cody was acting. They laughed about kind of the whole situation. In a confessional, Janelle said that one of the perks of having a sister wife is when things like this happen. Like when you're frustrated with your husband, you can go to your sister wife's house and you can hang out with her and she can understand where you're coming from because she has dealt with this man and has probably went through similar issues. So you can sit there and you can both kind of vent to each other about your husband. She's like, that's one of the perks of having a sister wife. Um, Christine says that she feels like Janelle needs support because, you know, Janelle doesn't travel as much as Christine does. And Janelle and Cody, they do have fun together. They enjoy each other's company and they have fun when they're together. But Janelle hasn't had that. She hasn't had Cody 
um, home in a long, long time. And Christine, she's like, I travel. And then when Cody comes to my house, it's like once or twice a week before COVID hit. Um, he would play with Truly, watch a little TV, and be on his phone. It wasn't a big deal. He would be up the next morning before the kids woke up. So she almost made it out like when Cody would come visit her, they didn't hang out and they didn't have fun together. But Janelle and he, they would hang out and have fun together. So she felt like she needed to be there more for Janelle because this is maybe affecting Janelle more than it's affecting her. Or maybe she's like, eh, not a big deal to me. But she worries that it is a big deal to Janelle. So she needs to be there and be supportive of Janelle. They both talk about their decision to go to Utah and spend Thanksgiving with their family in Utah. Um, Janelle says, you know, that the boys were more than happy to go to Utah to be with Christine because they're so close with Christine. Christine says kind of the same thing, that she has just a special place in her, her heart for Janelle's kids and that she loves them and she would love to have them there for Thanksgiving. They do say that they can't say 100% that they're going to go to Utah because COVID and everything that's going on, you know, if somebody was to get COVID or something like that, obviously they wouldn't be able to go. So they were kind of taking it day by day and playing it by ear. Now, um, the next scene, oh, before I move on to the next scene, let me just say that Janelle and Christine both agree that they think spending Thanksgiving with each other would be way more fun than spending Thanksgiving with Cody and Robin and Mary. They actually do say that. They actually do say that in the episode. So, um, the next scene is Robin and Mary. They are setting up the surprise visit to surprise Robin's kids. So Mary gets in her car and she records herself with her camera. She goes over there. Robin has not told her kids that Mary is on her way. And when she knocks on the door, Robin is recording as well. And the kids are like, it's Mary. What is she doing here? One of the kids asks, can we open the door? And Robin says, yeah, you can open the door. And the other, someone else asks, can we touch her? And she's like, yeah, you guys can touch her. And everyone in the house just kind of um, erupts into happiness and, and joy. And they all run to the door. Her older son opened the door. The, the kids ran out and just hugged Mary. Everyone was crying. Even the older son was crying. Uh, at one point, Robin panned over to her older son, who, who was crying tears of joy that they could see Mary and that they could hug Mary. Everyone was so happy. And it was like a really touching moment. Not going to lie. I teared up while watching it. I was like, wow, that is so sweet. That is so cool that her kids are so close to Mary and that Mary can now be there and, and you know, be around them. Mary's been by herself this entire time. So the fact that she could show up over there and get loved on so much, I'm sure that uh, was really good for Mary. Really good for the kids and really good for Mary. She went inside. She visited with the kids for a little bit. They had a really good time. The kids told her about how they watched some of Robin's old home VHS tapes where Robin was like break dancing and stuff. It showed some of the clips. Pretty funny. Um, and Robin said in a confessional that she knows they're going to have a lot more uh, play dates like this, that Mary will be coming over more. And she's happy about this. She's happy that her and Mary can, can hang out together and that Mary can see the kids. So that was a success. That was a very touching moment. I was happy to see. It really kind of puts it in perspective about how much these kids care about their, what do they call Stepma, I don't know. I don't. I don't know what they call them, but how much these kids care about their dad's other wife or their mom's sister wife? Because they they clearly do. They were so excited when Mary got there that they they literally cried tears of joy. So next scene um, is Robin. She has to sit down with her kids to tell them that Christine and Janelle will not be doing Thanksgiving with them. So she sits all the kids down, and first she tells them that. That Cody made a list of rules that everyone would need to abide by if they wanted to spend the holidays together. And that Janelle said that there was no way that her family would be able to abide by the rules. Aurora immediately was like, wait, she can't, they can't abide by the rules or they're just not going to. They don't want to. And Robin was like, I really don't know what's going on. But what I do know is Gabriel has a girlfriend. He has a social life. So it's you know, been tough for them. So they're going to go to Utah and they're going to have um, Thanksgiving with Aspen and Mitch. Um, obviously, they were upset. At one point, Aurora said that she was disappointed, that she, she was bothered by this. Um, Robin then told them that Christine also wasn't going to be able to abide by the rules and had decided to go to Utah to McKilty and to Aspen and Mitch's house as well. 
um, Aurora said they're the ones that's been pushing for us to um, set up some sort of rules so we can all be together. And now when we have these rules and and these these boundaries, they're just going to say, forget it. Is that what is happening here? In a confessional, Robin's like, you know, I want to tell her no, that that's not the case. But I can't tell her that because I feel like it is. I even feel like that's the case. And I'm not going to lie to my child. Uh, you know, obviously Aurora is old enough to form her own opinion based off everything that she is being told. And if that's what she feels, then, you know, there's, there's a good reason why she feels that way. Um, I get, I get what she's saying. You know, Robin says that she's worried that her kids will feel like they're not important enough for Christine and Janelle to want to spend the holidays with. And that, that bothers her for them. And it bothers her for her. Because she knows it affects her. She knows that she feels like, okay, well, I'm not important enough for you guys to abide by these rules. So you guys can come here for Thanksgiving. But she also understands um, Christine. She's like, you know, I do know that Christine has kids. And she's going to go spend Thanksgiving with them. Like, I do understand that as a mom. You want to see your kids for the holidays. But she said when you live a plural marriage, you really can't do that. Because if every wife is going to see their ch own child on Thanksgiving Day and spending Thanksgiving with their own child, then where is Cody supposed to go? And how is the family supposed to all come together if everyone is at their own kid's house? Um, which really, I guess, if it wasn't COVID, then all the kids could come together at Cody and Robin's house. Um, that probably be the only house big enough to maybe host them, maybe. I'm not sure. Um, but, you know, all of uh, Christine's kids, all of uh, Janelle's kids, all, you know, Mary's daughter, um, and all of Robin's kids could all come together rather than the women having to branch off to go to each one. But Robin was like, that's not how it works because it can't work like that. But apparently that's how we're doing it this year. Um, they do have, you know, Thanksgiving, and the way that it works is Janelle ends up not going to Aspen and Mitch's house um, because they just felt like um, they were going to be pushing it too much and they could potentially be exposed to COVID. So Janelle, she and her boys and her daughter, they go to her sister's house in Utah, and then Christine and her kids, they go to her other daughter's house, Aspen, and her husband Mitch's house, and then like all of her daughters and... Um, her daughter's husband is at um, Aspen and Mitch's house and then Janelle's with her sister and her kids and then Mary and Robin they are at Robin and Cody's house with Robin's kids um, at one point Mary even says you know I could have went and spent Thanksgiving with my mother I could have went and spent Thanksgiving with my daughter but I decided to spend Thanksgiving with Robin and Cody and their kids and it's not because my mother's not just as important it's not because my daughter's you know, uh, not as important because they are. But when you live in a plural lifestyle, this is kind of how you do things. So Mary, she spent Thanksgiving at Robin's house. Um, in a confessional, Mary said that right before Thanksgiving happened, that Robin called her and said that she would like to prepare the turkey this year because normally Mary prepares the turkey. And at first Mary was like, oh yeah, sure, go ahead. I don't mind. But Mary said after she told Robin that she could do it, she was kind of like, I kind of have to make a turkey. So she felt like she had to make a turkey. So what she did was she made this really cute Rice Krispie Treat turkey um, with little candies coming out of it. And it was super cute. The family had uh, a good chuckle over it because Mary come out with this pan covered up. And she's like, Robin, please don't get mad. But I had to make a turkey. And Robin was like kind of wide-eyed about it. And was like, that's okay. That's all right. But then she opened it up. And it was this Rice Krispie Treat turkey with the candies. And Mary said that um, that Cody's favorite uh, treat or whatever, uh, or snack, is like Rice Krispie Treats. So that's why she made the Rice Krispie Treat turkey. It was a really cool idea. Um, Cody said that if all the family would have been there, it would have been super loud and everyone would have just been making, you know, a lot of noise over this Rice Krispie Treat turkey. Um, and with it not being that many people there, it was just kind of, kind of simple and it wasn't loud and it was quiet and everybody loved it, but it wasn't a lot of hoopla, you know what I'm saying? And he said at the table, it, it was simple and it was, it was quiet and he enjoyed it, but it's not what he signed up for. He said at the end of the day, um, if you want to to have holidays that are quiet and simple and easy, you have a, a monogamous relationship. But he said, I didn't sign up for that. I signed up for 
a uh, plural lifestyle. So he's fine with, with the loudness and the craziness and it being chaos around the holidays because there's just so many people there. He's fine with that. Um, but he does say when he's given a toast, you know, um, when they're having Thanksgiving, that he's kind of realized who was loyal to him. Obviously meaning Mary and Robin because they are the two wives that spent Thanksgiving with him. But at the end of the day, Robin and Mary and Cody, they all talk about how simple and quiet the Thanksgiving, in fact, was for them because there wasn't so many people there. But they also talk about how it hurts their feelings a little bit. And, and Cody straight up says, like, it's not really what I want. It was fine. But that's not the lifestyle I signed up for. Christine, she says she really enjoyed herself having Thanksgiving at Aspen and Mitch's house. And it was just so much more simpler and it was so much more easier. Um, and she said something like, um, don't think too much into it or something. I don't know. You know. She was like, I had such a great time. It was such an amazing Thanksgiving because it was so easy and it was so simple. But, you know, don't think too much into it or something. I don't know. I guess kind of telling us like, but that's not saying she's going to do it every year or something along those lines. Um, Janelle said also that they had a really good Thanksgiving as well. And that this was the first Thanksgiving, the very first Thanksgiving, like since she started having kids, that they were not with the family. Um, Christine, they did call Robin's house on Thanksgiving, like during the festivities to kind of say happy Thanksgiving. Janelle says she straight up forgot. She's like, I did not call Cody and Robin during Thanksgiving because I was so busy just having such a great time. And I forgot. <laughs> um, so it seems like everyone had a good Thanksgiving. A couple people were a little upset over the fact that, you know, everyone couldn't be there together. Um, and then that's kind of the end of the episode. We got to see scenes for next week's episode. Next week, Janelle's mom passes away, unfortunately. Um, Gabriel and Cody, they meet up and go head to head. Robin and Janelle, they meet up and they're having a discussion where Robin says that COVID has kind of pulled the blanket off some issues that their family has had. And Janelle says that she agrees and that she's caught herself wondering if she still wants to be in a plural marriage. Also in next week's episode, they celebrate Christmas together. In the clip, it looks like they're all together, but I'm not exactly sure. But we do know in the past week's episodes, they've been saying, you know, Thanksgiving, no, but Christmas, yes. So there you have it, you guys. You leave me your thoughts about this past week's episode in the comment section below. If you were Christine and Janelle, would you have went and spent Thanksgiving with your family as well? Or would you have stuck it out, abided by the rules, so you could have Thanksgiving with uh, your husband and your sister wives? Let me know what you would have done if you were in their position. Also, give this video a huge thumbs up. Next week, I'll do another recap of next week's episode. I feel like it's going to be an interesting one because we do know that Janelle is once again questioning whether or not she wants to be in this relationship. Also, Cody and Gabriel, they meet up. Of last week's episode, Gabriel said that if he could see his dad face to face, that he would tell him how screwed up the whole situation is and how he's tired of it. So let's see if next week, if he really tells Cody off, if he really tells him how he's feeling. Make sure you leave your comments in the comment section below follow me on my other social media accounts instagram instagram facebook and tiktok go follow me on those social social media accounts as i will start posting to those accounts more also subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet and until next time i'll see you guys later goodbye everyone